What's going on, family? It's Miss Ward coming to you on Sunday and from South Florida. Just finished looking at a dishwasher that was not getting water. Took care of that for one of my um, property manager clients right in North La Lauderdale. So that was a short trip. So I'm sitting here now. I'm about to uh, get the truck washed. I'm going to be doing it myself. I'm at a car wash because it's so hard to find places that can actually get to it because the truck is so tall. So I can make sure the image is in order. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually doing a list of the to-do list. You know, every time you think you got a minute, you don't have a minute. It's so much to do. It's just about uh, time blocking. You know, that might, might be something you guys want to look into. Time blocking is critical. It's going to make you more productive and more effective, and you can get as much as you can done. You know, and that's basically what I'm doing. I got a couple other calls. I need to communicate with customers, order some more parts, and get ready for tomorrow. I'm trying to do a light day to day. I'm trying to make sure my weekends are light. Um, unless it's, you know, some things I just can't refuse. But, you know, I want to talk about some of the questions people have for me. Um, I'm a part of this mentorship program, and I got a young man is asking questions about getting organized organized because the business is going so fast. And what I think a lot of people find out when they get in the business that you got to pick a role. That goes back to the e-myth. I mean, you think you can do everything, but you really can't. You know, it's going to cause you to have uh, what they call the mediocre effect. Everything you do is going to be half-assed, even though your intention is to do to be the best at it. So um, what I'm doing now is breaking down my business, making sure people are in the proper places in the proper roles because I am truly trying to pull myself from the business and, and get it to the point it runs without me. Um, and that's why I touch and feel everything so I know the SOP needed, excuse me y'all, the standards of operation needed and things that are needed to keep everything in order and in place because you know, I learned a long time ago from my corporate positions and dealing in retail and wholesale and automotive. No matter what the industry is, everything comes back to organization. Comes back to parts organization. Customers, you know, particularly if you're customer-centric, customer communication. You need customers to be at ease at all times. The only way they're at ease is to communicate with them. When you communicate with them, you have no problems. When you don't communicate with them, where there's an issue or what have y'all, as you can see, I am yawning because I am tired. Um, you got to realize that. So as you build your businesses, you want to keep these things in mind. You always want to put yourself in a customer's place, no matter how aggravating they may be, because they still sign in your paycheck. And you got to come up with ways and systems so that there's a wall between you and the customer. You keep it professional and you make your money. Um... It just reminded me of something else I got to adjust on my calendar. You know, things of that nature. So let's just talk about business. How do you build a business that you are the driving force in and then be, pull yourself out without the business imploding or falling apart? How does that happen? You do that by having all this stuff in mind before you start. Because the problem is people get in the business to get all headstrong and hyper and, you know, like I'm King Kong, and the reality is that's not a win-win. In my opinion, you build the business so you can sell the business or you can put someone else in place to manage it. There's a gentleman that I watch. I don't know his name, so I apologize for that. But um, he talks about how he got these businesses going on their own, and then he went on to start another venture. That is the goal. Because there's no purpose starting a business if you just created another job. Like, I can't stress that enough. People don't understand. You know, some people create businesses because they came out of their passion. Oh, that's nice and good. But at the end of the day, you left a job. Why create a new one? So you got to be smart about your moves. And you got to grow in such a way that you can not only control the growth, but that you can manage it and that someone else can manage it without you present. That means your ego got to get out the way and everything else got to get out the way. You know? 
I mean, these are key things. And I don't think anybody thinks about that. You know, people always got these little cliches, X, Y, and Z, but the reality is, how do you execute it? And I think that's the thing that everyone seems to miss. How do you execute it? You got to execute accordingly. So let's talk about execution. Like, for instance, I was talking the other day about how when I have to put my customer's information in three different databases, my contacts, because I'm anal, work is app, and the reality is I could put it in work is app and just be good. But because I'm so paranoid, I want access from different angles because I'm 360 like that. Because if something happens with work at, is I need to have that same information readily available in another app or, you know, on Google Drive, OneDrive, wherever I'm going to put it. Because that's how my brain works. So with that said, my process is I put it in Square, I put it in Work Is, and I put it in my contacts. So at any time, I have access to customer information. Now, I use Work Is because I need that to mask my phone number when I'm calling customers. If I'm calling from my phone or a different number, things of that nature. But it's part of the process so that I could actually pull myself out give my CSR my login for work is and she could just do it from there but she's gonna have to know I need it in, in you know in these three places because I need to have access at any time and I think that's important I think a lot of times that people don't put systems in place and then they don't hold people accountable including themselves to stay in those systems and I think information and data gathering is so important you need to be able to have a place where you can grab the model number, the customer's concern, complaints, so you can deal with it. And then you need to put a system in place so you don't have recalls or comebacks. Gosh, I need to take a break. I am really tired. I thought I did. I call myself, you know, having a normal life lately, yesterday, but obviously not. But, you know, I'm having this conversation because I need y'all to understand you know, everybody talk about run out and get the sales. You know, sales are wonderful, but there's a responsibility that comes with sales. There's an issue with that customer. You got to go back and fix it. You got to do what you got to do. And then you got to take care of yourself in the process, which is really my main goal right now. Strawberries. I really want to watch my diet, what I consume. Because I grind so much, I got to make sure I'm taking care of me at all times. I suggest you guys do the same. We got my grapes here. I had a great smooth this morning. Most of all, I got to get on top of this pineapple. This pineapple is critical. A lot of people don't understand how important pineapple is, but... It's got some things you really need.